NBC News is in the process of removing all memory of Matt Lauer from 30 Rock, destroying anything that bears his name and likeness. Matt's office is being completely demolished. Everything is going, including that button under his desk, his nameplate, the photos of him in the hallways, the pictures of him online and on NBC News social media, an insider told the New York Post. The button under Lauer's desk allowed him to lock his office door. The source adds the NBC News family is so sickened by his behavior it is almost like they want to pretend he never existed. Meanwhile it has emerged that Willie Geist could be Lauer's replacement. Geist currently hosts the Sunday Today program. However, Page Six says Megyn Kelly could be gunning for the spot. Kelly, who hosts the 9 a.m. hour of today, has become a role model for young female staffers at NBC weighing sexual harassment claims. Lauer was fired from the Today Show on Tuesday night which was announced on Wednesday morning. Since his ousting, multiple women have come forward with further allegations of sexual misconduct against him. He's reportedly seeking a $30 million payout from the network for terminating his contract before it was scheduled to end at the close of 2018. Geist, 42, spent five years as a co-anchor on The Today Show's third hour and filled in for Lauer on occasion before sliding into the Sunday Today seat. Meanwhile, the exiled anchor has reportedly been sending personal apologies to his former colleagues in email saying I am truly sorry. NBC News HR staff are working their way through a trove of his work emails to find more evidence to bolster the claims levied against Lauer. Lauer was reportedly seeking a $30 million payday. That news drew a strong response from executives at NBC on Friday. A source with knowledge of the situation confirmed to DailyMail.com that Lauer would not be receiving any payday or salary beyond his last day of work at the network. Lauer is said to have had a morality clause in his contract. It was also noted that Lauer could choose to sue the network in an attempt to receive additional pay, but they will not agree to hand over any money to the disgraced anchor. Also on Friday, a memo sent to staff by NBC News chairman Andy Lack revealed that an internal investigation is underway into the matter of Lauer's appalling behavior. A team of the most experienced and universal legal and human resources leaders have begun a thorough and timely review of what happened and what we can do to build a culture of greater transparency, openness and respect for each other," read the memo. At the conclusion of the review we will share what we've learned, no matter how painful, and act on it. On top of that, Noah Oppenheim, the NBC News president, promised severe punishment for any employee who knew about Lauer's behavior and sat on it. I can tell you, on a personal level, that if there is anyone who works here, who still works here, who knew about this and didn't report it, this is going to be dealt with in the most severe way possible. And that is why we are conducting this review," he told staff at NBC's Nightly News. The former NBC host was seen in a Jeep as he drove out from behind the gates of his $33 million estate on Thursday while still wearing his wedding ring. He headed into town where he met with his lawyer friend, Eddie Burke Jr. Lauer was seen handing Burke who specializes in real estate, negligence and criminal law, an envelope moments after stepping out of his car. He then got back into the vehicle and headed home. Burke previously defended basketball star Jason Kidd when he was charged with drunk driving shortly after the then Brooklyn Nets coach was hit with a misdemeanor drunken driving charge after a 2012 crash. Lauer's mid-morning outing came shortly after to dare read the ex-anchor's full apology on the air at the start of the program on Thursday. There are no words to express my sorrow and regret for the pain I have caused others by words and actions. To the people I have hurt, I am truly sorry," said Lauer. The last two days have forced me to take a very hard look at my troubling flaws. It has been humbling. Some of what is being said about me is untrue or mischaracterized. But there is enough truth.